So finally, let's move to possible paths from code forces. To understand this problem, you need to watch binary lifting and how to find LCA uh, using binary lifting. And let's get started. So I will get the same tree from code forces problem. First, let's try to make some observations. So observation one, let's try to define what is a valid path. Okay. So let's try to understand it using using an example. So uh, two, three, five, four is are are, are are forming the nodes in this list are forming a valid path. A valid path. So first, I need to know nodes from this list the two nodes with the two biggest depth. So this is depth 0, 1, 2, 2, 3. I want to know the limits, I will call it limits, limits of each path. Limits of a valid path. Okay. So for this path, I want to check the first node with max depth, so it's 5. This is my first limit. The second limit uh, sh should be 3. I know that 4 has the same, uh, same depth as 3, but the condition that the first, I will call it first limit, first limit should be uh, the node with max depth, node with max depth, in this case it's 5 okay the second limit should be node different from uh, from from uh, first uh, limit for sure and the LCA of this node and first limit should be different to n so for example LCA and for uh, 4 and 5 is equal to 4 and that's why we can choose 4 because they are in the same we call it maybe path or I don't know how we call it but they're in the same branch so I want to take a node in the other uh, part of the graph so this is the LCA of 5 and 3 I want to, to get the second limit as part of this left branch so the first one I will get it from the right side and then from the left side so the condition will be LCA of the node that we're gonna choose at a second limit will be different from n and then if we calculate second limit and we find it minus one we, we don't find a an, an second limit that means that our graph is linear that means that our graph is like that okay so it's linear and uh, in this case we're gonna return yes because uh, the path is valid now after we get first limit and second limit so 5 is uh, first limit 3 is second limit we need to check that other limit other nodes that are 2 and 4 are between this, these two nodes so how we check that? How we check that? It's easy. So simply, what we're gonna do is to check the distance between three and two and the distance between two and five. So, distance between 2 and 3 plus distance between uh, 2 and 5 it should be uh, let's describe by uh, a corner, uh, corner not corner case but uh, a bad example let's take 1 so if we go to from 3, three to 1 then we go to 
from 1 to 5 you can see that the distance is 2 plus 3 and if we go directly from 3 to 5 from 3 to 5 the result is 1 to 3 so uh, now we can see that going from uh, that a don't belong to the direct path from 3 to 5 so the condition will be distance from 2 3 plus distance from 2 5 should be the distance from 3 to 5 and that's it so each node of the list each node of a valid path uh, distance from first limit to this node plus distance from this node to second limit should be the distance from second limit to first limit and that's it now how we calculate the distance it's easy so the, the distance between uh, for example 2 and 5 it's the depth of 5 depth of 5 uh, which is 3 minus uh, plus uh, not plus uh, wait let's take an, um, uh, a better example so the distance will be distance of 5 plus the, the distance or depth of 3 let's calculate with 3 minus LCA of 5 3 and the result will be so the depth 0 1 2 3 the depth is 3 depth depth of of, th of 3 is 2 uh, LCA is uh, 2 and uh, then for sure the depth of the LCA not the LCA directly so depth of LCA and depth of uh, 2 is just 1 so the result will be 4 uh, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong uh, depth of 5 so this is the depth of 5 okay minus 2 2 time depth of sorry 2 time because uh, going from 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 so so going from one to three, we do this distance one to two plus one to three, and going from one to five, we lose one two plus uh, two uh, five. So I want to remove one two two times. So the distance is one from two plus two from three plus one to two plus two from 5 uh, so if I want the distance between uh, 3 and 5 I should remove the distance from 1 to 2 2 times so that's why we have 2 here and that's the solution I hope you enjoy the video let's go to the code so this is my DFS it's the similar is similar to uh, binary lifting so watch the video Keith ancestor is similar LCA it's similar I got it from uh, this video so the logic uh, what I uh, what I have added here it's uh, the distance so the distance is the depth of A plus depth of B minus 2 times depth of LCA and uh, that's it so first I will find the node with max depth I will, comp I will suppose that the first one is uh, this node from the path and then compare it to other uh, depth then I will put the second uh, limit with minus 1 and try to find some node with uh, LCA different to itself and the depth is uh, greater than uh, the existing uh, ones so if the result is minus 1 we just return uh, yes because it's a linear graph else uh, we just check that the distance between uh, uh, limit uh, first and a plus distance from a to second limit is uh, is not equal is equal to the distance between left and limit and right limit and then uh, if okay is uh, true we see out uh, yes and else we see out uh, no i hope you enjoyed the video see you next time